Hi, I'm John Landells with Xenos, and in this video I want to walk you through how the Discovery Mapping Zenpack works. Now, this isn't something that we would install by default. Um, in most cases we would be looking to rely on a CMDB or an existing list of the devices. Um, but there are certain circumstances where it does make sense to use something like this Zenpack. Um, so I want to take you through how it works. Now to set the scene, I'm installing this uh, in a small network that I have in my home office. I've only got about eight devices in here. So um, whereas in a large scale device we would install some test devices, configure the system and then work from there to add the rest of the devices, I've had to add my few test devices and delete them and then come back in to rediscover. So we'll walk through the process. Once that's done, I'll actually take you through and show you how it was all configured originally. Let's get started. So here you can see my Xenos system with no devices in it at the moment. What I'm going to do is discover networks. And all of my infrastructure devices run between um, .20 and .99. I'm using my own SNMP community string. And uh, I don't have any Windows devices, but I have some Raspberry Pis, which are going to be added as Linux devices. So I'll give the credentials for those. Once that's set, I can simply hit Discover. And you'll notice that it's started discovering down here. It's actually started a job. We can just hit done. There's nothing here at the moment. You can see down in the corner that the discovery job is still running. Actually click that and bring it up. So it's discovering that IP range for us at the moment. So here we have the first device. Um, as you can see, it's been added to the Discovered class, just as we've seen before um, with a regular Discovery. And that's correct. It does the Discovery first, then it will go through and map the devices. So here you can see the Discovery has actually finished. In the bottom corner, it's running some other jobs. And these jobs are um, reclassifying and model devices. Okay, there's more, job, more of those jobs coming in. The moment, as you can see, everything is in Discovered. But if I refresh this, we'll see that the first one has already been pulled into server SSH Linux. Okay, so it's discovered that one of these Raspberry Pis is actually a Linux device. So if I go into this device now, I should have finished modeling as well by now. we see exactly what we expect from a modeled Linux server. So the credentials were obviously correct. Um, we can see we've got the components on the top left here, just as we would expect. But uh, the reason we were able to do this was because at some point I went and I discovered a Raspberry Pi and uh, I got the blank screen here with no components because it was still sitting in that discovered class, but I could see that it was an unknown Linux variant. So if I click on this, we can see there's a few of those unknown Linux variants. But also under the configuration properties, you can see that I can specify where this goes. So I've said anything that comes in with a, a model type of unknown Linux will map it to server SSH Linux. Okay, so we can see more of this is actually going through. You can see that we've got the network router is now um, has been identified and classified. Now this one is just a generic router, I don't have a dedicated Zen pack for it, which is why we're not seeing a huge amount of information. But for this one, I've actually been able to identify it by its um, OID. So I've said any device with that OID goes into network slash router. So we can pretty much classify anything that we know about using this method. And 
as this gets close to the finish, what we'll find is that we're able to classify all but one of the devices. Um, and that's the one we can't classify is this one. That's actually a voice over IP PBX, which doesn't support SNMP and doesn't have SSH enabled. So without a dedicated Zen pack to communicate with its API, we have no chance of doing anything with it. So this is exactly what this is going to do for you. It's going to go through and classify all the devices that it possibly can, leave you only with those models that it can't recognize. So uh, that's it. That is the Discovery Mapping Zenpack. Um, if you have any questions, you know how to get back in touch. Thank you, and I'll see you soon.